Hello everyone, welcome back to 4 Pixels. Coco here with Konetsu and we are continuing Danganronpa. It has been another <laughs> while since we have recorded so we might be a little fuzzy on the on what has just happened. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> just finished getting weapons. So that ya Sayaka can protect herself. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. I was the one who invited you to come with me. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Okay. <laughs> You were doing sort of good with there with being patient and not forcing conversation, and then you said that. And he just ruined it. <laughs> Stare off into space. Oh, but you're probably super bored. Just standing around, doing nothing. No, it's not that it's boring, it's just... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. As an idol, I imagine not. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. Oh god. <laughs> I just gonna put like some psycho music every time he put, says normal. <laughs> He's like so obsessed with calling himself normal. <laughs> You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Uh, hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Kodo, do you have a dream? I wonder what happens if you just ignore that. <laughs> I think it just loops until you choose it. Yeah. Well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I... My dream is... I've always wanted to be a star. As long as I can remember. I grew up without mother, you know. My dad worked really late each and every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know? So I, I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess, and she could sing and dance. <laughs> but more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? I honestly believed that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off your dream, not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. In that world, if you lose your focus even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. It, is it really that tough? Yeah. <laughs> is it no fun at all? Oh no! Don't get the wrong idea, it's super fun. But that's exactly what scares me. Huh? I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. 
to work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies, those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. I really hate to break it to you, Sayaka, but idols, like, last for five years, maybe. Yeah, you're lucky to even get to five years before you're, like, the Con Considered too old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sayaka. She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Well, they say if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Now we're trapped here, with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. While I'm here, the world's out there forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But... but still... Sayaka... I can't afford to be stuck in here! That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds... desperate. But I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort to is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying. I can't even imagine it. Uh, I... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. I kind of killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. I'm really sorry. Um, Sayaka? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Yes. You want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. My cooking skill is maxed out. <laughs> Whoa, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. That sounds delicious. You mean the condiment? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how'd it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Almost like the ones idols wear. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat. Before returning to our rooms. I like how he decided she must be hungry because she's like lashing out. <laughs> Not herself. She a girl. She yeah. likes food. Comfort food here, just let me stuff it in your mouth. <laughs> now we're <laughs> now we're gonna get like food fetishes coming to the channel. Food porn. Mmm, <laughs> stuffing. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. Not at all. Essentially, this is just time you can take to get social ranks with whoever interests you. Get your wife a point. <laughs> yep. Alright, so when I played this game, I went for my personal favorites, which are Sakura and Hina. And um, Kimmy showed me. Kimmy showed me the one for. Oh god, I'm blanking on her name. The one that scares me. There's a lot that scare people. <laughs> uh, the so author. Uh, yeah, Toko. Uh, Toko, yes. Um, 
So that's about it. Everyone else I don't really know anything about. Is there anyone you would be interested in? Celestia. Celestia, okay. She was my like number one. She was like the only person I talked to. <laughs> and Kiri Giri, but she's kinda you have to talk to her. Do they show where they are? No, they do not. Alright, we'll oh, just wander a little till we find her. That's what I like about number two. You don't have to wander around until you find them. Hello there. Speaking of her. <laughs> Everyone's working hard to find an exit, aren't egg bleh. Exit, are are they not? <laughs> Good luck with that. I have no interest in such menial labor. Oh, can I not? <laughs> okay. Guess we can't talk to her. Huh. We're not cool enough yet. She don't know us like that. Oh well, why not? Let's go for Jinko. <sighs> Getting stuck in here is like totally disgusting. <sighs> I want to get out of here. What the heck? Did did my skipping the tutorial like screw something up? Remember me? The one and only Hifumi Yamada! Oh boy. <laughs> or, or maybe it's because we have- Oh yeah, I think like in the tutorial it like, makes you talk to Sayaka first. So maybe we, we can only talk to her. Mm. This first time. Yeah, I think that's it. That's lame. I'm sick of talking about her. <laughs> you know, Makoto. I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Yeah, looks like that's the case. Uh, Alright. We're not too excited. Are you going to try and cheer me up? Oh, sorry for making me take time out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. I don't have anything on me. Um, Makoto? Do you really think you can make time for the two of us to talk? What are we doing right now? <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? Let us see. Well, it's just... I, I guess that was kind of informal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> if you weren't here with me, I... I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. <laughs> I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but... I'm relieved you're with me. Sayaka. Standing here face to face and hearing her say that. It's nice, but... Kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saves me. <laughs> really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. That mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Because I looked at you all the time. In the classrooms, in the hallways, in the bathrooms. In the locker room. In the shower. Huh? <laughs> huh? I had fun like that. 
I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Because you're so normal and it makes me feel better about myself. And I know you like normal. <laughs> Do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. It was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle once every million years. That bird once every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been... I believe it's Crane, right? I'm pretty sure it's a crane. Okay. It was a crane. He just walked right into the pond. <gasps> that's right. That's what it was. It was so big. The teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but you let it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. I should have said thank you then, but... Is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I yeah, I kind of figured. Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we'd met, met again at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. This isn't dramatic enough for you? Yeah, like, <laughs> what the heck, little? <laughs> I think maybe you wanted to say romantic. <laughs> but instead, it's this weird school. Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out. Just like that crane. You'll save me. It's just intuition, I know. But I still believe it. I'm going to save her. I'll do my best. I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Because I'm psychic. <laughs> just kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she said it. The closer we get, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. I was glad to feel that way. Yay! Ooh. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Okay. <laughs> Gotta get in the mood. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I am. This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. I'm stuck. No. <laughs> Why? Why this? There we go. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Today has already come to an end, but I swear, tomorrow I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear. I really want to know what goes on in that dining room. As my eyelids begin to slide closed, 
The conversation I'd had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. Oh, I'm so done. <laughs> Uh, I am definitely going to be putting a counter on this. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. So I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her, no. Compared to everyone else here, there's no doubt I just don't match up. In fact, anytime he says any sort of self-deprecating thing, that's going to count. I guess that Anything might- Anything that relates to him being normal in any way it's gonna count yep 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 i guess that might explain my own frustration oh trust me we are way more frustrated with you than you are <laughs> and i think that's a good place to end this episode thank you guys for joining us Bye bye